Meghan was nasty about me but it's not for me to be nasty about her, Trump tells Piers Morgan what he really thinks of the new royal and husband Harry in his only UK interview. The US president has spoken of his true feelings about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in a world-exclusive interview with Piers Morgan. Donald Trump's conversation with the Good Morning Britain presenter is his only one-to-one -one with either a UK or US network during his stay visit. Their 33-minute chat will air on today's show, which begins at 6 a.m. on ITV. The Republican addressed rumors that Prince Harry did not want to meet with him at Buckingham Palace and described Meghan as nice while also saying she'd been nasty. Speaking to peers in the Churchill War Rooms, President Trump reveals his thoughts on the Duchess of Sussex after she was said to have criticized him as divisive. Trump also discusses what he said to Prince Harry during his visit to Buckingham Palace. Asked if he thought Meghan was nasty, Trump says, they said some of the things that she said and it's actually on tape. And I said, well, I didn't know she was nasty. I wasn't referring to she's nasty. I said she was nasty about me. And essentially I didn't know she was nasty about me. You know what? She's doing a good job, I hope she enjoys her life. I think she's very nice. He went on, she was nasty to me. And that's okay for her to be nasty, it's not good for me to be nasty to her and I wasn't. Trump also said that he had spoken to her husband after Piers asked, did you get a chance to talk to Prince Harry? The president said, I did, I did and I congratulated him and I think he's a terrific guy. The royal family is really nice. Piers said, did he say, come on. Do you think my wife's nasty? The president replied, We didn't talk about it, I was going to because it was so falsely put out there. And when you see that transcript and you see, it's the exact opposite of what they said. Did you look at the transcript? He denied that the Duke of Sussex had been frosty, responding to the suggesting by saying, No, 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 just the opposite. In fact, he spent a lot of time talking to Ivanka and talking to my family. I went up, he couldn't have been nicer. Couldn't have been nicer. I think he's great. The president also said that Jeremy Corbyn had tried to meet with him but that it wasn't possible. Piers asked him if he could imagine doing a trade deal with the UK with Corbyn as PM, with Trump replying, it's always possible. Anything is possible. I don't know him. He wanted to meet. It was a very tough to meet and probably inappropriate to be, to be honest with you. A lot of things are happening right now with respect to our country and your country, my country and let's call the almost the same because I feel that way, it's really a tremendous relationship. So, I didn't think it was appropriate to meet him, but I would. I certainly would have no problem with it. I think it's a long shot when you say that, you know, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. He also rode back on remarks from a press conference earlier today at which he said that the NHS would be on the table in trade deal talks. I don't see it being on the table, he told Piers. Somebody asked me a question today and I say everything is up for negotiation, because everything is. But I don't see that as being, that's something that I would not consider part of trade. That's not trade. The interview followed Trump hosting the heir to the British throne at an intimate 60-person black-tie dinner at the official residence of the U.S. Ambassador, Winfield House in Regent's Park. In contrast to the sophisticated palace menu which included steamed halibut and strawberry sable, and was served with a £2,000 a bottle Chateau Lafite, last night's fare was closer to the heart of the teetotal president with a taste for plain food, beef, potatoes, ice cream and pound 30 a bottle Californian red wine. Earlier on Tuesday, Prime Minister Theresa May gave the president a private tour of the underground bunker where Winston Churchill led the country during the Second World War. Mr. Trump was presented with a framed typescript draft of the 1941 Atlantic Charter, agreed by President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Sir Winston, that set out their vision for the post-war world. Trump and First Lady Melania landed at Buckingham Palace at lunchtime after flying into Stansted in the morning following an overnight flight in Air Force One from Joint Base Andrews near Washington, D.C. Hundreds of thousands of anti-Trump protesters have promised to bring London to a standstill, 
but they have so far failed to materialize as 20,000 police officers swamped the capital. Labor leader Jeremy Corbyn led demonstrations in the capital today, after boycotting the state banquet last night. One Donald Trump supporter was doused in milkshake by angry protesters. The semi-retired grandfather, who wishes to withhold his name, told Mail Online he was peacefully debating with moderate lefties and having a laugh with the majority of them before the demonstration turned violent. Video footage from the scene shows a number of anti-Trump marchers shouting Nazi scum at the Londoner before throwing the cold beverage at him. The man then says he is here to stay before throwing the cup back at protesters as one police officer attempts to stop the incident from turning into a brawl. The ugly scenes followed an evening of pomp and pageantry on Monday night, when the royals hosted Trump for a state banquet. The Queen granted the President the greatest honor that can be bestowed upon a visiting world leader in the ballroom of Buckingham Palace. Both spoke of the special relationship between the U.S. and the U.K. as the countries looked to commemorate those who gave their lives on D-Day in World War II. In front of about 170 guests, Trump thanked the monarch for her gracious hospitality and nearly seven decades of personal friendship with the United States. He spoke of the Blitz and the bombing of Buckingham Palace, saying that in their dark hour the people of this nation showed the world what it means to be British. Praising the Queen a great, great woman, Trump recalled her service on the home front during the war, and said the bond between our nations was forever sealed in that great crusade. He said the Queen embodied the spirit of dignity, duty, and patriotism that beats proudly in every British heart. Raising his glass the 45th President of the United States said, On behalf of all Americans, I offer a toast to the eternal friendship of our people the vitality of our nations and to the long-cherished and truly remarkable reign of Her Majesty, the Queen.